Hey YouTube, this is Run to Christ, and this is The Handmaid's Tale. Let's wake them up then, shall we? The Handmaid's Tale is an American television series created by Bruce Miller based on the 1985 novel of the same name by Canadian writer Margaret Atwood. The novel was actually written in 1984 and as you will probably already know, the novel 1984 has very similar dystopian themes. So the plot goes, in a dystopian near future, the totalitarian and Christian fundamentalist government of Gilead rules the former United States amidst an ongoing civil war. Society is organised along a new militarised hierarchical regime of Bible inspired social and religious fanaticism and newly created social classes in which women are brutally subjugated and by law are not allowed to work, own property, control money or read. Now wait a minute, I can't help that we're thinking of Islam here and not Biblical Christianity. In this fiction there is widespread infertility due to warfare induced environmental contamination has resulted in the conscription of the few remaining fertile women called handmaids according to Biblical precedent who are assigned to the homes of the ruling elite where they must submit to ritualised sex with their male masters in order to become pregnant and bear children for those men and their wives. So The Handmaid's Tale is set in the Republic of Gilead, a theocratic military dictatorship formed within the borders of what was formerly the United States of America. And it begins with a stage attack that kills the President and most of Congress, a Christian fundamentalist movement calling itself the Sons of Jacob launches a revolution and suspends the United States Constitution under the pretext of restoring order. They are quickly able to take away women's rights, largely attributed to financial records being stored electronically and labelled by sex. The new regime, the Republic of Gilead, moves quickly to consolidate its power and reorganise society along a new militarised hierarchical regime of Old Testament inspired social and religious fanaticism among its newly created social classes. So the plot summary says handmaids according to biblical precedent who are assigned to the homes of uh, the ruling elite. So they're saying that this is actually from the Bible or at least based on the biblical precedent. Now when, he, when you examine this you will find that this is just not true and they're basically trying to portray religion and specifically fundamental Christian teachings that but they've made that fundamentalist a dirty word but it just means the fundamental teachings of the Bible. Now is this true? Is this TV show accurate when it's portraying the Bible as setting these precedents for the handmaids to be impregnated by their masters? Now let's just break this down a little bit. So the Republic of Gilead as the United States is now called in this fiction it's actually uh, a name in the Bible of three persons and it's also two geographic places. This is actually based on Genesis 31 47 where Jacob himself called the land Gilead located in Jordan. So what about the handmaids? Well a handmaiden or a maidservant is a personal maid or female servant or someone whose primary role is to serve or assist. So the TV show is basically trying to get you to think that this sort of behaviour is condoned by the Bible and that the precedent, as it says in the synopsis for The Handmaid's Tale, suggests that the Bible is directly responsible for promoting this as uh, kind of standard behaviour. But let's just actually go to the Bible and find out what it really says. So when you type in Handmaid into the Bible, you'll get all the results. Uh, and instances of where that word is found in the Bible. This program is eSword, you can download it for free if you want to and you can do this for yourself. 
Uh, so Genesis 16.1, now Sarai's Abram's wife bare him no children, and she had an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And as you probably know, because Sarah and Abram could not wait for the promises of God, they took matters into their own hands, and it was Sarah's idea for Hagar to be impregnated by her husband Abram. And the result of that was none other than the next verse here, which you find the word handmaid in. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son. Ishmael is the ancestor of the Arab nations. And even Muslims and Muhammad himself claims to be descendants of Ishmael. Now what was the result of this disobedience on the part of Sarah and Abraham? So we can see here from Genesis 16 verse 4 and 5 that once Hagar conceived her mistress was despised in her eyes and Sarah realised that the whole thing was wrong. My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom and when she saw that she had conceived I was despised in her eyes. And Abraham said well Behold, thy maid is in thy hand, do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarah dealt with her hardly, she fled from her face. And eventually, in chapter 21, verse 9, Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which is Ishmael, which she had borne unto Abram, mocking. So, he was mocking, Ishmael was mocking Isaac, and then they were both cast out, because they will not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. So even though this grieved Abraham, it happened and they were cast out. But God blessed Ishmael and he promised that he'd make him a great nation. So who else had handmaids? Well, Jacob had handmaids and he also had two wives. And they each had a handmaid and he had children by all of them. But you see, this is the thing. The Bible is not condoning this type of behaviour. The Bible just merely informs you of what these people did and as you'll find as you read the Bible that most people in the Bible are just like you they have faults and they do wrong things and they're there as an example to you of what not to do not what to do but this TV show The Handmaid's Tale is kind of like promoting the idea that all this that you see in the TV show is actually based on the Bible when it's more akin to being based on Islam, which states women are men's fields and men can have sex with them whenever they want. Men are superior to women and have authority over them, while women must obey men or risk being beaten. A woman is worth one half of a man and men are above women. Muslim men may marry up to four wives and can own sex slaves. Now, that sounds a bit more closer to this television show than the Bible does. So ultimately this TV show is subliminally programming the masses into having hatred towards Christian values and the fact that the cult group that started this whole thing in the TV show are called the Sons of Jacob is rather startling and it ties in with programming people into the belief that there's going to be a Jew world order, you know, the sons of Jacob were 12 in number, and these 12 ended up becoming the progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. So what is this program really trying to brainwash you with? A hatred for Christians and Jews 